Hi guys, please click the subscribe button and don't forget to like this video. Thanks! Hello everyone, welcome to another um, Roblox Studio video. I know I don't do these at all really, I do more gameplay. It's just, um, with quarantine and everything, I've started to, uh, get into Roblox scripting a lot. So I'm deciding to teach you guys how to script a few stuff. Uh, as you can see in the title of this one, this is part one of how to create your own simple horror game. Um, this is the AI pathfinding episode, so we're pretty much going to make it so that the, um whatever evil character you want is going to follow the nearest player so um once you're in roblox studio click on new click on base plate and then wait for base plate to load i explained in my previous video what you have to do to get these up um i don't Okay, so I have made this thing for you that finally works. It's called Funtime Springs' AI Monster Template, okay? Made by me. This is the thumbnail if you want to know it's real. And of course it'll be by me. Okay, so the, the name on the side is now, wait, is now on group, meaning, got to group now delete thumbnail camera and delete delete thumbnail then you got this thing so before anything let's look for a face uh, evil face <laughs> Don't look at that one I want an actual good looking one that bad but mm. okay so maybe this one oh yes that one's perfect so i've put the we've put the face on now in body colors we've got to change the color so head color i would like this left arm color i would like this left leg color right arm color Right leg colour. Yeah, but you can do this to whatever you want. I'm just doing what I kind of think will suit my character. Okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna get some items from other monsters. Oh, maybe this one. Yeah, this one will work. Wait, it's got sounds chasing. Yeah. Okay, that scared me. That literally scared. Yeah, we ain't having no sounds for our character. <laughs> anyway, right. Let's grab these spider legs. Let's put them in the right character. Hey, he's looking pretty good. I gotta admit. There we go. Got a little bit of blood on him. Okay. Now is a couple of stuff we can change in humanoid body depth scale. I'm going to change to two, make him a bit fat. Just ignore all that, please. I'm going to change his height to 2.2, his body width scale to two, and his head scale to two as well. So if I do this, get it lifted out of the ground. There we go, so this is how big, he's a very big one. The, the, the Wendigo. Ok, 
God. Anyway, this is our monster. I think it looks pretty nice. So, let's give him a little test out, shall we? Let's do play here. You can do play if you don't have to do play here. <laughs> So let's get into the game, and hopefully, yep, look, he chases around, but very slowly. Now I still need to fix, the, now we need to animate a walk animation, as you see, because when he stands still, he does animations. We've got to animate our own walk animation for this guy. But look, if he touches you, it doesn't do anything great. Oh yeah, it, 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 it does kill you if you touch his torso. I mean, like, if you jump up at him, he will get you. So look, he does follow you around the map, but at a very slow speed. So let's get this... Um, wait, wait a sec. I might just have to put a script from a kill block into his legs. Script. Left lower leg. And put it into right lower leg. So I recommend you do that, guys, just to make it a bit easier. I mean, a bit harder. I mean, a bit easier for him to kill you, because otherwise it won't work too well. Anyways, let's get to animating our walk animation. So, go into plugins and click on animation editor. This will appear anywhere, and click on him. Name the animation walk. Okay. Now, this is where we start animating. So, our first frame, I want him to be hunched over, kind of like this, with his head looking straight up. Now, if you don't know how to do this, please look up a tutorial, because I'm not here to tell you about this. I'm here to tell you how to make your own game. Got a bit of animating in here. I've actually had a bit more experience than you probably have to come because it's just say so you've come to a beginner's script. I'm not trying to be rude, or, right? Anyway, this is the first frame, and then I need a frame on five. of him with his legs in the normal spot and his arms in default too so that will be on frame five then on frame 10, I'm going to move this arm forward, bend this arm, put this arm back, put this leg up, bend it, and then put this one back. Now I might need to space this to 20 and this to 10 okay yeah and then I'll put this on I'll put the time on the max time on two meaning that I'll go 20 to one putting this middle frame copy it. Put 
paste keyframe over there. Copy selected. And then paste the keyframe on there. Then. This is the full walk animation. It needs a bit of balance to it though. But at the moment, we've got a pretty good basic one. So as you can see, it's, it's, it's like bends when it comes forwards and straightens when it goes back. Same with his arm. So pretty basic animation at the moment, but it does look good. I feel like we should put this to a four. So, wait, I need to move this to here. Just to make it have less, more of a smooth motion. Now, I want it all to be low. Oops. So, I'm going to select it all. And I'm going to select the easing style as cubic. Now, let's see how this turned out. Ooh, not that bad, actually. Whoa, 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 wait a second. For this one, his leg is still bent when it shouldn't be. And then that means it's the same with this frame. But for some reason, even more. Now I've just got to quickly set the easing style to cubic too. Set the easing style to cubic. And then let's try the full animation. It's starting to look pretty good. Now of course, you lot are probably going to do a different walk animation to this. This is just my walk animation. keep dragging that out so this is it frame by frame just uh, every couple every frame does a little tiny movement so yeah but now I've got to copy it all And then paste it here. And then paste it here. Meaning that if we loop it. Wait, what? because there's more frames down <laughs> here that I didn't make pubic either and also that I didn't copy So maybe I should make this bigger really quick so I can copy this. Copy selected. Paste keyframes. Paste keyframes. Let's lower this back down. And there we go. This is our four second long walk animation now it has to be specifically four seconds for this so also just as a little 
a bonus at 110. I'm just going to stick his head straight, but move, just so you can tell us. And then it's going to move this way. And then it's going to go back to the center. It's going to look this way. And then go back to the center. Meaning that when he walks now, every so often, he looks left and right. So the walk animation is almost done. Now on every one of these, got to bring this down. Got to go back up. It's kind of like this. Okay, now this is starting to get a bit more into the detail. Because he leans forward to look both ways and then gets back up. He does it very, very slowly. So we've almost I've almost finished it. Well yeah, we have. Um once you finish, go to export. Just ignore these, please. <laughs> And name this Walk Monster Anim and hit finish. Then don't click OK and click on here. Right click, copy, OK. Open up Animate and in Run and try and find Walk as well. Open them two up. And copy and paste the asset ID in animation ID. Then you can get rid of this and uh, hope that when we play the game, when we get chased down, he has his own custom animations. Let's give it a check then. There we go. He comes towards us. We're dead. So let's actually try and let's let's actually try and escape this guy because he actually is pretty good. So I think we've done a really good um thing so far, guys. You can join my Discord server when I get it sorted. So yeah. And just to give me links, well, if you want, give me links to games that you've used my kit for. Now, of course, this game isn't finished. That's why there are going to be multiple parts to this series. But I really hope you guys enjoyed the first part. So, yeah. Um, the next part's probably going to be, like, flashlight mechanics. And, um, yeah, and a map probably for the next, for the one after that. So anyway, so I guess I'll see you later guys and I'll see you later guys. Bye.